What you see before you is the world's largest picnic basket. Standing almost 200 feet tall, the seven-story, 180,000 square foot architectural masterpiece was the image of the sought-after handcrafted picnic basket of the Longerberger family. At its highest point in production, the company would become worth $1 billion and had even employed over 8,200 people. Success wouldn't last for long though, and after the death of the owner in 1999, the decline of the company would begin. Profits eventually came to a standstill from the recession, and in 2018, Long Burger headquarters, informally known as the Basket Building, would close its doors for good. Having been abandoned for a number of years, we take you inside to show you what extremely few have seen of this architectural masterpiece. Look at this place. It's a big old picnic basket. It's crazy. Think we're gonna find any food inside this? I mean, it's a picnic basket. It should have something. Maybe eggs. Maybe eggs, yeah. Look at this place. keep my voice down right now because we still don't know if people are inside lights are on but it's definitely abandoned did you hear that doorbell yeah there was something yeah Please watch over us and protect us. Amen. Let's get it, guys. All right, let's go up. You have to be careful about that. No more of that, okay? It's definitely a newer building. Electric stove here, definitely newer. I don't know how new, but pretty new. Okay. This must have been the cafeteria. Little lunch break room here. This is insane. like a regular person just passing by. Sure. I'm sure this place has a lot of that. I'm so on edge right now, dude. Center IT. 
there's definitely power on. We've made that observation. Right now I'm just trying to make sure there's no security systems that are currently active. They might be on. It doesn't mean they're working. I'm just so scared that I'm gonna look down and there's gonna be people. That's why I don't like being up high because they don't even have to come after us. They can just wait. So I'm gonna keep guard. This is Brutel, office space. My hands are shaking so much right now. It's hard to keep my phone steady. All right, let's go all the way up. Lucky number seven. to get a sense of scale of this place. Look how small he looks. Since its closure in 2018, the new owner has been making renovations to the place, which is why it now resembles a modern day hotel. While we're not sure this is how it originally looked, it is beautiful nonetheless. Before we could finish admiring the architecture, we heard a most unwelcome surprise down below. Hey, how's it going? some kids that we heard out front it sounded like they were inside we got super sketched out I think they actually did come inside so what we managed to do was we managed to lock the door so that way they couldn't come back
Come on, old man. We're almost there. All right, guys. Made it to the roof after that scare we just had. This is incredible. Yeah, it's that glass arch and the handles right here. As much as I would love to get up to the handles, I don't think there is a way. Although the vision for the company may have died with the owner, the vision for the building is still very much alive. $6.5 million in a dream would restore this historic place back to its original beauty. A big thank you to Explore with Rick for some of the footage and the amazing Explore. I hope you've enjoyed the episode today. And as always, this has been Chuck, and stay classy.